Breaking now, a 15-year-old girl was shot and killed in the street after seeing a movie with her friends at the Coralwood 10 in Cape Coral. You're watching Wink News at 3. I'm Nicole Gabe. I'm Chris Safadi. Cape PD says Kayla Rincon Miller was the victim of an attempted robbery when she was shot. Let's get right to Wink News anchor Russ McCaskey right now, leading our coverage on this live from the scene in Cape Coral. Russ, what do we know there? Chris, it is a tragedy. The entire city of Cape Coral is feeling. This neighborhood where it happened is hurting tonight. I'm going to begin by showing you where the final destination was. There's a McDonald's. It's less than a two minute walk from where the shooting happened. That's where the girls were headed. Now let's take you through step by step what we know. The teenage girls are on spring break this week. They went to the Coral Wood 10 movie theater last night. The theater less than a half mile from the Mickey D's that they were going to go to after the movie theater. The movies lit out at 10. The girls started walking to the McDonald's. They didn't make it that far. Again, less than two minutes from their final destination. A car pulls up. Police say the people got out. They blinded the girls with their lights, and when they did, those people got out of the car. An attempted robbery ensued. Something went wrong. A 15-year-old girl was shot in the chest, and she later succumbed to her injuries and died at the hospital. Now, police were able to talk with her and her friends uh, before uh, the girl was taken to the hospital. And from what they can tell, this is a random act that they did not know who the attempted robbers were. This is how far they got from the movie theater. We're at Southeast 20th and North, or Southeast 16th place. They were... Again, less than two minutes away from being safe and sound in that McDonald's. Uh, Annalise Ola, our reporter, has been looking into who she is, who this victim is, and a little bit more about what their family might be going through, because you can only imagine the, the pain that they might be feeling today. So, Annalise, what have we been able to learn about this 15-year-old victim? Police Department is that Kayla Rincon Miller is a local 15 year old girl who was fatally shot and killed here on Sunday night. We did briefly speak with her family who told us that 15 year old Kayla would have been turning 16 in May, but her life was tragically cut short just before her next birthday. Take a look. These are pictures from Cape Coral PD at the scene on Sunday night. I spoke with a neighbor who told me they were inside their home when they heard gunshots followed by screaming. They said they stepped outside and could already see that passerbys on the street had stopped to help and they could see red and blue lights coming fast in the distance. KPD officers responded to a 911 call around 930. The caller said three female minors were walking when one was shot in the chest. Our officers responded within minutes and began life saving efforts on the gunshot victim, uh, even applying a chest pack uh, that's commonly used in combat. And we performed uh, CPR until EMS arrived, and then the victim was taken to a local hospital as a trauma alert, but tragically she succumbed to her injuries. Chief Anthony Sizemore says they do have a vehicle description right now that they are not releasing to the public. Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers is also asking for the public's help. If you live between the theater and the McDonald's on Southeast 16th place in Cape Coral, please give Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers or the Cape Coral Police Department a call because they need your help. Live in Cape Coral, Annalise Iraola, Wink News. All right, Annalise, thank you. All those houses along there, you got to hope that somebody has a camera that's pointed in the right direction. I hope so. That really helps to solve this. This tragic story, of course, is still developing right now. And Wink News will bring you whatever updates that we get throughout the newscast and also live on Wink News at 4 o'clock.